What is going on guys? Today we are back and we are fixing the 85. Last time you've seen this thing, it developed a pretty nasty rod knock. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I don't think a 22 RE is supposed to sound like this. And uh, we're gonna try to fix it in the most Canadian way possible. A maple syrup oil change. I'm not gonna lie, there's zero theory behind this, but the old 22RE is clearly not healthy, so what's the worst that could happen? Okay, so first step obviously is draining all the oil in this thing. So uh, yeah, let's get to it so that we can throw the rest of this junk in there. Okay, so now that the oil is all drained, first step, take a swig of your maple syrup, and then uh, add it to the engine. Follow number two. Here goes another one. Okay, so obviously since we're putting maple syrup on this thing, it's actually quite the expensive oil change. So uh, if you would, please smash the like button for us and hit subscribe, and uh, let's move on to putting the beer in. Wait a second, why are we adding beer to the mix? This is Canadian, aren't it? Oh, that makes sense. Why are you putting the Captain Morgan's in? Because he's always flexing. <laughs> well, that's a good enough excuse for me. Do you think this is going to make the knock better or worse? It's going to fix it. It's going to fix it. Do you think the knock is going to be better or worse? Worse. Oh, party pooper. <laughs> <laughs> it might be better but, or it might be worse, but I think it'll smell nice. Okay, let's start this thing and see if maple syrup can cure a rod knock. <laughs> okay, clearly it runs. With, uh, with syrup in the engine. That's good news. Is it better? Not yet. Um, I think we need to go for a little drive so that it can actually work its way through the engine. Okay. <laughs> Let's give her. But will it still run? Did you hear that? We have officially cured the rod knob. Guess the problem cylinder is let go. That was so weird. <laughs> Two giant holes in the block and it still moves. The maple syrup and maybe possibly some other things have caused the problematic cylinders to leave the chat forever. Oh, and maybe the rest of the motor. That was pretty anti clamato The new engine, engine block souvenirs here. Wow, little bits of 22RE. Yeah, for sale on the website. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now, obviously, we didn't actually have faith in this working or fixing the engine in any way whatsoever. But I will show you what is going to be replacing this 22RE. A 3 liter. J just kidding. It's actually getting a 3.4, but we needed the 3 liter for the R150 to put in this truck to make it all work. Okay, so now that there's several holes in the block and we can literally see a piston, let's turn it over see if it'll fire again.
Why isn't it starting? I don't know. It's missing a few things. So seeing how it miraculously still turns over, let's uh, use the starter to bump it back into its home. Perfect! Okay, I think, I think the 22RE is officially dead. Unfortunately, the maple syrup fixed it, but then it didn't fix it real fast. I don't know. I'm stumped. I don't know why I failed. I guess it's time to uh, pull this sucker out and go on to bigger and better things. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, 22RE. You still suck. <laughs> 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 Look at all the pieces of block and the rod and the bearing that came out of this thing when she went boom! There's so much carnage, it's awesome. Anyways guys, if you want to support this build, all of these pieces are going to be on the website to purchase and all proceeds go towards the 3 4 swap. so uh, that's kind of cool. And I am serious, those pieces of block are going to end up on the website, but I'm including a sticker with each purchase, so you're not just getting a useless piece of block that smells like maple syrup. Also, while you're on the website, check out our brand new merch right here, Toyotas Never Die, made specifically for the 85. And yes, the little 22RE still turns over. Just watch the crankshaft through those holes in the block. It's amazing. Anyways, that's about going to wrap it up for this video. If you like stuff, please remember to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. See just how bad the carnage is on this 22RE block in the next build episode of the 1985 Toyota pickup here on Dirtcore.